what is up fam so um i'm back with another video and uh in this one i don't know how much we're going to get done in this one so i'm going to try to make sure this is not a really boring video but uh what we are going to do is install the rear camera arms for the girl because she is officially lowered now and i have dialed in the suspension to the height that i want it and uh, we're also going to install the uh rear sub oh my god here we are again i do this all the time you know in the last video it is the rear strut tower brace we're going to install that bad boy um we're going to try to see if we can polish it up because i don't want to paint it but it looks a little rough so we're going to try to polish it and see how well that works but as i was saying i went ahead and i got the suspension dialed in everything is perfect i got what i consider the perfect drive height take a look at it So yeah, as you can see, it's dialed in all nice. I don't know, uh, I just shot something cinematic, I think. We'll see how crappy it turns out. It probably looks like garbage, because uh, it just probably does. But as you can see though, I mean, look at that. That is perfect. The front, I had to drop the front like a half an inch, I think is what I dropped that down, and I dropped the rear an inch and a half lower. So, and it came out perfect. And yes, this side of the wheels, they're black. And the other side is still blue because I'm trying to decide if I want to rock the black wheels. I know for a fact now I don't want to rock the blue ones, but I'm trying to decide if I want to do blue or if I want to go ahead and paint them like a, like a dark gunmetal color. Or I may just paint them black. I mean, I'm not a fan of black wheels, but they don't look that bad at all, I don't think. Um, but hmm, we'll see what happens. Um, but yeah, so there it is. Okay, so as I'm looking at old girl, she looks a tad bit rough. Uh, see, there's some scratches, boom, more scratches, and uh, if you come down here, this stuff here, well, it's basically, it's flaking off. You see that? We can't have that. I mean, yeah, the paint on the car looks like poop, but it doesn't mean this have to do that, be that way too. So, yeah, I guess I'm going to have to paint this or something or another. So, uh, let's see what we can manage. So, yeah, uh, I got the brace apart. I thought that maybe this here had like some form of clear coat on it. It doesn't because I used some stripper to try to get the clear coat off, you know, uh, and there isn't one on there. So I guess is all I got to do. I'm just going to try to polish it up and see if I can fix it. There's like a boo-boo right there. I don't have like a sanding wheel to really do anything to that. So I'm going to see how far I can knock that down. Um, and same thing with the uh, little feet here. Like that stuff is like some form of anodized. Yeah, it peels off, but not all of it's peeling off. And uh, paint stripper does not work not either. So, all right, so I went ahead and sanded this down. Um, I don't have really abrasive grit of sandpaper right now because uh, probably 350 would be ideal to knock these little paint chips down. Um, I have a Dremel and I don't know that little flappy wheel is that it's like a sanding wheel has little flaps on it and stuff i use it to basically fix curb rash and i don't feel like going out and spending eight dollars on another one when i know i have two somewhere around um i'm not really spending a whole lot of time on this either um because i feel like i'm just going to end up painting it some other color uh, but for now i have some leftover wheel paint and it's actually the silver color i use it for my old mustang because the wheels are painted black not by me, but from the previous owner, and I wanted them original finish. So I know I'm never going to use this color again. So at least to paint my wheels, because nobody paints wheels silver nowadays. At least I know I don't. So we're going to try to keep like an OEM looking finish on this. And yeah, let's see how this turns out. So I went ahead, got one nice little dusting on there. Get like a little, because I'm not using primer for one, but... You just want like a nice little coat on it. So when you start adding other layers, it'll have something to bond on. So that's where we're at right now. I'm gonna let that drop about five minutes and I'll pick back up and just keep doing the same thing over and over until we get a good coat on it. Then we'll work on their little feet. Okay, so it's finally done. Um, this is how it came out. It doesn't look too bad. I think it'll look pretty good. 
It was kind of subtle. I was really thinking about doing red, not that anodized red, but like the normal red, but I was looking at it and I was like, man, it doesn't even sort of kind of match the color of the car, not even the OEM color red. So I was like, I'm not gonna do that. Who knows, maybe I'll change my mind, but right now I don't like it. So I think this looks good and it makes this stand out a little bit because it's a little bit different colors to get a little bit further back. So all in all, not too shabby. I'm just waiting on the little feet to dry. And unfortunately, is what I'm gonna to have to do is cut into my minty plastics. So I'm gonna to try to make this as neat as I possibly can so I can still keep the covers on them because I don't want that exposed. So yeah, I'm a little bummed about that, but what do you expect? I mean, I paid 20 bucks. I think that's pretty good for this thing. Beats $200. If I would pay $200 and I had to cut that up, yeah, I'd be a little upset, but 20 bucks, eh, we can manage. Yeah, so it's like day two. Um, finally got the thing in last night. It took me a hot minute because, uh, yeah, I had to, of course, you already know, cut the holes in and all that jazz. Uh, this is what it looks like. I put a little hot boy flare to it, but not a lot. A little something, a little subtle, subtle. Um, yeah. All right, so it's like day two or the second day, whatever, if you will. I went ahead, got this bad boy installed. Uh, it doesn't look too bad. Looks pretty good for what it is. Um, got a little hot boy flare in there. It's supposed to be that, like, neochrome. Not neochrome, but what do they call that? Anodized look, you know. But I put too many coats on it, so it just looks like crap. Looks more like paint. And as you see, they're different colors. So I'm probably just going to paint them black. Because, yeah, I am not really feeling it. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, it's in there now. So, that's cool and all. I guess I'm going to go ahead and detail the car, clean it up, because I'm not a fan of that jazz. Um, and uh, next up, we're going to install these bad boys, the K-Spark camber arms. Yeah, something, something good. So, hmm, let's go ahead and get the cracking on that. So, yeah, I'm trying to install the rear camber arms. Did not work. Uh, the driver's side work it's fine the bolt nut whatever you want to call it comes off i can put the camera arm on there easily other side is seized up so i don't feel like fiddling with it right now so um i got i want to show you something so if you look over there yeah so you got the green bumper and then you got a o1 bumper right there the red one so, so what we're going to be doing is installing that and then I have a new garnish that actually has the badge on there. How cool is that? Um, I got a whole bunch of other stuff. And the reason why the tail lights are off is because um, I got some newer tail light gaskets to keep the trunk from leaking. So that's what we're doing. We're installing that. But since I got this whole back end off, I'm going to go ahead and clean this up a little bit. Okay, so I uh, got the back all cleaned up now. For the most part, looks a lot better than it did. And I'm basically just going to start reassembling everything. And we'll see how it looks and we'll put the uh, new bumper on there and um and also got some lower control arms too so we may go ahead and do that if i have enough time uh, or we may save that for another video who knows but for now this is done we're going to start buttoning everything up all righty so uh finally got everything on uh the garnish is on the bumper is on tail lights are in new little gaskets where the tail lights are on um it doesn't look too bad the color is not that much different from the rest of the car. So uh, let's look over the bumper. Yes, it is bruised all right here, as you can see. And there's a few little dents up here in that thing there, but I have the dent puller. I can pull that out. Um, so is this bumper perfect? No, but uh, I'm not worried about that because this can easily be fixed. Uh, at the end of the day, it's better than having a green bumper on my car that does not match. Um, but yeah, so I'm happy with the way it looks. And finally, I have my badge on there because it is a, you know, GSR. Now it doesn't look like all the basic Integras. Um, another thing I did, of course, uh, I got a new spoiler. Just pulled it off the other car that I had, that parts car. Um, and I also went ahead and put the wires back in because the other one, I'm, well, yeah, I got it hooked up. So now I have a third brake light, basically. Uh, but yeah, so now we're going to move on to something else. So this is what else I got for the inside of the car because uh, I'm real picky about having things nice and neat, right? So this here, it's broken, right? I got a whole new one and it's a little cup holders a little bit better too. Um, but I got a whole new one here and I'm gonna go ahead and install that bad boy. Um, I also got like a leather 
armrest. I don't think I'm going to put that on, but yeah, I do have one. Um, so yeah, we're going to go ahead and put that in there too. But um, yeah, like I was saying, here's my newer one. No broken shifter boot. We're just going to go ahead and clean her up and get her installed. This here pops out a lot easier than the other one too. Probably just needs to be cleaned really, but I'm just going to sell the other one and try to fix it at least. Uh, but we're going to use this one in the car. All right, so I got her all cleaned up and she's ready to go in. So let's go ahead and start removing this. So uh, first of all, you got to pop this off and let me go get a little flathead. Um, so yeah, I got the armrest out, got the center console out, but we're not just going to go ahead and slap it in there because look how disgusting this is. Oh my God, there's french fries. I don't know how old those are, but yeah, we're just going to go ahead and get the shop vac and we're going to clean this up because we're not going to just slap it in there like that. And we're going to clean that armrest up. So like I said, I'm probably just going to keep using that one and I'm going to sell the leather one because I don't like leather. I mean, I do like leather. I just don't want it in this car. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and clean this up because I don't want to just install this ugh, looking like that. All right. Uh, so I went ahead and vacuumed it out. Went ahead and cleaned this up too with some of the LA's Totally Awesome stuff. And yeah, she looks way better way 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 better so now we can officially go ahead and install this thing and uh yeah get this girl looking clean it's officially in got the uh center console in got this armrest all cleaned up and yeah we're looking good okay so i'm gonna go ahead and close this video off because i've been working on this for way too long at least like a week or more uh because things just kept not going as planned um, but yeah, so I'm finally done. Of course, I got the rear bumper on, tail lights, the rear garnish, spoiler on, and I did the center console. And I went ahead and cleaned up all the other interior parts that I have on hand at the moment and got those listed. So I wanna close the video with a little walk around to let you guys see uh, how it looks now and that it's not sitting over there in a hole. Um, she's coming a long, long way. Still got some ways to go. Gotta address some problems, but we're getting somewhere. Alrighty, so there it is. Wah, wah, wah. Got a little low tire there, so I'm gonna have to address that in just a second. But yeah, it is done for the time being. Um, let me come over here on this side. And yeah, that's it. I wish, I guess we're gonna have to figure out, well, not figure it out, I'm just gonna have to go ahead and paint that fender for the time being because it looks so crappy. Um, but yeah, so like I had mentioned before, I got another door because I don't know if you can tell, but it is just like, it's not really coming through on a video, but it's super duper dented up and there's like a reverse dent on it. It just looks like crap. So I have like another door that's not all dented up because less Bondo, the better. Um, still have to address that. But y'all, I'm pretty happy. Let me get a step back. Ah, ah. Okay, and then here, let me go ahead and open up the inside so we can get one more view of this clean interior. Let me get this out the way. Voila, yeah, boys. Okay, so yeah, that's it. I'm gonna go ahead and close off this video now. Um, there's gonna be more coming. You'll just see what's in the next video, but I got more coming for it. Um, and yeah, that's it. So if you made it this far, thank you and appreciate you guys being patient. And I'll see y'all next time. Peace.